So there was an old joke um, that was told, not an old joke, but there was a joke, and I think it was told at the White House Correspondents' Dinner, which we're going to get to in a second. And I think the joke was about the climate that finally black people are going to buy BET. <laughs> oh, that was a joke that was told at the, yeah. the White House Correspondents' well, Dinner. Well, we got some information now on uh, three people three who are big new, contenders. Three new people who are uh, putting their enormous fortunes together to try and buy the network. That would be 50 Cent, Jack, and Kenya Barris, creator of Blackish and a lot of other things. That is a team. That is a, yeah. That Formidable is, team. That is a dream team right there. Um, and they're going up against, and we've talked about this, that there are already some huge names who Tyler want Tyler Perry and Byron Allen are teaming up to try to buy they're BET. They're not, actually not teaming up. They are separate entities. I thought they were teaming up. No. Nope. Oh, they're head to head in this. So they're there. So you have Tyler, you have uh, Byron, and Diddy wants in. So this is a. Uh, I mean, this, this. I gotta tell you, this is this all is good really news. This is really interesting. This is all good news for the price of BET, which no one has really figured out exactly what it's going to go for. So this but would drive the price up if you have this kind of sure. bidding Sure, exactly. Well, and it makes a lot of sense, too, right? Because obviously Kenya Barris, he has the producing, the writing, the directing credits. Shaq is on TV almost nightly now and <laughs> has his own projects. And then 50 Cent just had that huge deal with stars. He's, he's now signed a multi-year yeah. with Fox. And he's also about to go on a 60-plus show tour. So he's still connected in music as well. I mean, they kind of have it all here. Yeah, yeah, and what they can also do is, you know, they have tentacles that extend beyond what they do particularly, and, you know, they can draw a lot of people in just by, uh, by yeah, the they, star power. They, there is um, an investment group that they are, are working with as well. Kenya Barris already is a minority owner of BET Studios, which is just one part of the entire BET uh, network that they'd be purchasing. So, so what, what, what is interesting about this is that... And, and you know, and I, I, you know, you tell me on this. I, I, I think it is kind of interesting that it's always been run by white people. And Not always. No, Robert Johnson oh, sold right, it to, right, sold right, it to right, Viacom. You're right. You're right. You're right. Right. But still, but I for mean, the last 20 years. Right. Yes. And you know, and it, and I think it's interesting that there's this move now. I don't think it's coincidental that you're seeing, you know, people at the top of the game in the black community in, in entertainment right. yeah. who happen to be black who are vying for this and, and, you who got, have, and who have had enormous success and now they can actually take that that uh, success and the money that they've earned and uh, and purchase something that and, and, and quite honestly that should have been purchased and, by but to turn it into something bigger than it is because of the star power that they have to get it right and when you spend the other thing is it's just economics when you spend that kind of money, you're not spending it to be static on the platform. You're spending it to grow it. And all three of those groups that we just talked about really have the capacity, the ability to grow BET into something, honestly, much bigger than it is right now because cable is struggling right well, now. Well, and this is going to be very interesting. Whatever the, the sale price ends up being will be very interesting for all, all cable networks because, as you say, they've been struggling, and that's why I think no one's been able to figure out exactly what the valuation is of BET, but, you know, when you think it was when Viacom bought it 20-something years ago, it was $2.8 billion or just about around $3 billion. So it'll be interesting to see what it actually is valued at now. Well, and whatever it's valued at, you could still have a bidding war that would take it beyond what even it's worth. Well, so and whatever they end up paying is what it will be worth. Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, I, I know what you're yeah. saying. It's a, I hear what you're saying, but whatever they pay for it, Whatever they pay for, becomes, that, then they got to figure out that's the baseline, and they got to figure out how do we make a successful business out of it. But if you've really right. got three serious buyers like this, it's going to go for a premium. It is going to go for a premium. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's Langston from Washington, D.C., and let's just be honest. The only people that it makes sense to give BET to would, of course, be Tyler Perry, Kenya Barris, and if you want to, you can squeeze 50 Cent in there. I'm just thinking in the, the variety of what they bring to pop culture and the TV that we watch daily. Shaq, yeah, he's a lit guy, but I just only want to tune in here for sport. And Diddy, I'd rather him just give me some rock. I don't really need him on TV I, I, Well, I, I, again, I, these guys are not, you're not going to be seeing any of them really like on BET daily. This is, 
Right. They're running it. They're running it. But yeah. I, I don't like Shaq being dismissed that way. Shaq is an amazing businessman. Yes. He is a, he, this guy got a doctorate while he was in, still playing basketball. This guy is in deep in businesses. He knows what he's doing. You know who I'm surprised isn't part of this? I'm surprised Magic Johnson isn't part of this. I really am. Uh, because he's in so many different areas, and this is I think his... that's, I think Magic, you're right, he could be, but he doesn't need it. He has so many other things. And also, Magic has been trying to purchase an NFL team. That's what, I think he's probably holding his shekels for that. I think he's got enough shekels. <laughs>